there will be singing in this episode. Hey there, and welcome to Speak English with Christina, where you'll have fun becoming fluent in American English. I'm your English coach, Christina, and if you follow me on Facebook, you know that lately I'm obsessed with the musical Hamilton. Ha have you heard of it? Lately, I've been listening to it nonstop, and I realized that the lyrics are full of chunks, expressions to make you more fluent in English. Because when you're an English teacher, you notice these kinds of things. And I wanted to share them with you because, well, it'll help your fluency in English. Let's go. First, what is Hamilton? It's a hip hop musical about the life of Alexander Hamilton, one of the founding fathers of the US, the, the guys that created the United States at the time of the American Revolution in the late 18th century. Hamilton came from a poor, broken family in the Caribbean and succeeded in rising up to become an important person in American history. It's the kind of self-made man story that we love in the US. And the New York Times called the show the most celebrated cultural phenomenon of our time. It's won 27 awards, a huge number, and it stars actors of different colors and backgrounds because the creator wanted the cast, the actors, to look like the population of the US, very diverse. And it's a really fantastic show. So now that you know what Hamilton is about, let's learn six expressions that you'll hear in the songs and that we use in everyday English. And I warn you, there will be singing in this episode. Sorry for your ears. When Hamilton arrives in New York City, he sings, I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. And he sings it better than me. But this expression means, I'm not going to lose my opportunity or lose my chance. Like, I have a big interview and I don't want to throw away my shot, so I'm going to really prepare. I don't want to lose this chance. I don't want to throw away my shot. Hamilton's from the Caribbean, and in one song he's singing with Lafayette, the Frenchman who played a major role in the American Revolution. So they're both immigrants. And in the song Yorktown, they sing a famous line, immigrants, we get the job done. To get the job done means simply to do a task or even to finish a task. Like, I can't come to the movies, I need to get this job done first. I need to finish this task. And that line, immigrants, we get the job done, is a quick tribute to the important role that immigrants have played in the history of the United States. In the same song, Yorktown, the entire cast sings, the world turned upside down. The world turned upside down. Because after the Battle of Yorktown, the British surrendered. The United States were a free nation and it was like the world was turned upside down. Like uh, this turned upside down. So when you turn something upside down, you do like this. 
you turn it so that the top is at the bottom. Like, you know, turn the box upside down. In the song, Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story, Eliza, Hamilton's wife, sings, I'm warning you, when my time is up, who will tell my story? When your time's up, <laughs> that's the metaphor for when you die. Like, when your time's up, you don't want to have any regrets. So go out and live your life. But we also use it in everyday conversations to simply mean we don't have any more time. Like, okay, time's up, we have to go now. Time's up, we have to go now. We don't have any more time. In the song Nonstop, the course hints at the fact that Alexander Hamilton will die relatively young and at the peak of his career. And they sing, how do you ride like you're running out of time, riding day and night like you're running out of time. He works so hard, like he knows that soon he won't have time to finish his life's work. And running out of time means that soon, we won't have any more time to do something. So in everyday conversations, we might say, we have to hurry, we're running out of time if we wanna to go to the store before it closes. We have to hurry, we're running out of time if we want to go to the store before it closes. Take a break is the title of a song where Alexander Hamilton's wife begs him to take a break from his nonstop work. Hamilton was very ambitious and worked hard all the time. Even during his life, his hard work impressed people. And to take a break means to pause, to stop for a short time. And you've probably heard someone say, okay, so let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's stop working for a short time. And Hamilton responds, I've got so much on my plate. I've got so much on my plate, or I've got so much work to do. So if someone says, hey, you should take a break, you can say, I can't. I've got so much on my plate right now. What about you? Did you know any of these expressions? And did you know the musical Hamilton? Let's continue the conversation in the comments. And below, I'll put some links so you can discover Hamilton and learn lots more chunks with the lyrics. Thanks so much for watching Speak English with Christina. I'm sorry for my bad singing, but we're running out of time and I need to take a break. So I'll see you next week. I'm not throwing away my shot. I'm not throwing away my shot. Oh, I'm just like my country. I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not throwing away my shot. Nah, I'm gonna keep teaching English. That's probably a better idea. <laughs>